In the book of Galatians, actually chapter 5, we read these words, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. We have been hovering over this verse for quite a while in these morning devotions. But what a list of qualities. And, and what a list of qualities that most of us would like to possess. As we have spent our morning times just hovering over each one of these nine uh, qualities, I would like you to think today about that last one, self-control. <laughs> yep. I said it, self-control. You might like to know that earlier translations, English translations of the Bible, translated this word from the Greek as temperance. Now, most of us know and understand and uh, even use the word self-control, but temperance, not so much. When I see the word temperance in Scripture, it reminds me of American history and how it was the Women's Christian Temperance Union, who fought for prohibition a hundred years ago. Temperance was considered a virtue of being able to abstain from alcohol on your own. In other words, one stayed away from alcohol by being self-controlled. I would suggest to you that very little has tested our self-control as much as this lockdown during this pandemic. On the same note, lack of self-control is the natural tendency for us as fallen and sinful creatures. When we're left to our own, we often choose wrong. Now, let me say that again. When we're left to our own, we often choose wrong. Now, most of us know the story about the children of Israel. And they took their jewelry, their golden things, and they built them a golden calf to worship. They had Aaron to form the calf. But what we may not put together, or we may know it, but maybe not we've maybe we have forgotten it, is that this happened while Moses was on the mountain actually receiving the Ten Commandments from the very hand of God. He was only up there for 40 days, but it was in those 40 days that the children of Israel kind of lost control of themselves, or they lacked self-control. So they got Aaron to form this calf, and they, they brought worship from the place where they had been in captivity. And now at the foot of this mountain, they worshiped a God of their own making. Self-control. True self-control only comes with the Lord's help. It was in the Garden of Eden that God said to the first man and woman, we call them Adam and Eve, you can eat of every tree in the garden except one. I want you to think about that. Living in a world with there, where there was only one rule. But God told them they could eat of every tree except one, and then he returned to heaven, and in the context, man and woman were left there on their own to do what God had told them to do. But what did they choose? They chose to worship a God of their own making. And who or what was that God? It was self. The Bible says that she saw the fruit, that it was good for food. Now, that's against what God had said. And she saw that it was delightful to look at. This speaks of her desires. Then, because her desires to be self-satisfied was greater than her love for God, she lost her self-control and ate from the tree. Self-control is about being able to do the right thing no matter the circumstances. And if there ever was a time self-control was needed, it is now. And the Bible tells us that this needed quality of self-control comes by the way of a personal relationship with God through Christ Jesus that leads us to walk and live in his spirit, that we can walk worthy. Man, what a great way to begin a day, to seek the Lord, 
and to be self-controlled through his spirit. Heavenly Father, give us a great day in you. Help us learn to be self-controlled because we're walking in your spirit. Today, Lord, we pray once again that you would heal our hearts and heal our land. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I pray that your day is wonderful.